In this video we're going to discuss image compression in the CrushPix for Shopify app. Image compression is the process of encoding or converting an image file in such a way that it consumes less space than the original file. Put simply, the smaller our image files can be, the quicker they will download to the person viewing them. There are two ways that you can reduce the size of an image and these are using uh, algorithms known as lossless and lossy. Lossless compression means that you reduce the size of an image without any quality loss. This is usually achieved by removing unnecessary data, that's things like the date, the time, the camera used, from the original image file. The other way is to use lossy compression. Now this refers to compression in which some of the data from the original file is lost. Lossy compression results in images being much smaller in size than the original and this is the best way to achieve considerable gains uh, when you want your images to download quicker. In CrushFix there are three ways that you can reduce the file size of your images. The first is to pick balanced compression. This is our preferred option. This strikes the balance, hence the name, between the quality of the image and the size of the image. By intelligently calculating just how much lossy compression to apply, we ensure that the new image looks as close as possible to the original. We achieve this by running a series of tests on each image to really, really strike that balance so that we give you the best looking image for the best saving. The second option is conservative. This makes use of the lossless algorithm pre to preserve every pixel in that image. Files will look identical, but as we've removed some of that data, things like the date, the time, the camera used, they will be slightly smaller in size. Finally, you can pick our custom setting. This allows you to define how much saving you want to make against uh, as much quality as you want the file to be in comparison to the original. Now that we've had a quick discussion on the different settings, let's look how you can actually change those in the CrushPix for Shopify admin. So now we've discussed the different types of compression available to us, let's have a look at how we can change those settings in the admin. Before I do that, there's two things I'd like to point out uh, on the dashboard that are available to you. The first is the currently selected type of compression. In my case, currently it is custom, and I'll show you how to change the custom settings as well as switch it to say balanced shortly. The other thing I'd like to point out is this toggle switch down at the bottom here with the word automatic next to it. If this is set to the on position, all new images added to your Shopify store will have your image compression settings applied to them automatically. This allows you to set it once and literally forget about it, uh, safe in the knowledge that all of the compression savings that you've applied will be also applied to every new image that you add. So I thoroughly recommend you keep that on. Okay, let's click the settings link here and we're greeted by this new screen where we have the three options available to us. Going from the left, we have balanced, conservative and custom. Custom is the one I already have selected and you can see that I can change the settings using these sliders really, really easily. Uh, if I move it to the right, I'll have a higher image quality but the uh, file size reduction will be relatively small. And equally, if I move it to the left, the file size will be smaller but we will sacrifice some quality. As discussed earlier, uh, balance is the one that we actually recommend at CrushFix. This gives you a significant reduction in size, but with a minimum uh, sacrifice to the image quality. One thing I'd like to point out further down here is that you have uh, toggle switches to select which images you would like compression applied to. And the other thing I'd also like to say is you don't have to actually uh, click a save button when you change these apart from in the custom dialog. If we switch between these two, you'll notice that the settings have updated automatically for you. Once you're happy, and I've changed this to balance, I'm going to go back to my dashboard, and you'll see that uh, balance is now the comp uh, selected compression type, and that will be applied to every image that I add automatically due to the fact that I have this toggle switch in the on position.